What if you broke every law of mathematics in the Portal 2 engine? There's a lot of math that goes into calculating the movement, physics, and rendering of every object in a game as complex as this. So obviously tampering with the delicate calculations that make it all work breaks things in spectacular ways. You might have already seen videos of people changing pi in Doom, or swapping the sine and cosine functions in Minecraft, and the idea here is to do something similar, causing as much chaos as possible. Specifically, these are the functions we're targeting. Yes, I'll get to the gameplay in a moment, but in order to fully appreciate just how messed up it is, I want to show you the importance of these first. Sine and cosine are very close siblings. You might remember from math class that they have something to do with circles and angles, but in reality, it's much more than that. Their relationship with each other is used to compute the shape, size, rotation, and position of all objects. Then, their evil cousins, the arc sine and arc cosine, help translate those magic computer numbers into real angles. The tangent and arc tangent are important for... something? And then there's the rest of these, which handle things like, oh I don't know, making numbers positive, or getting the square root. You know, very important and fundamental stuff. Breaking these is almost as bad as breaking addition and subtraction. Almost. Our first experiment takes us to a world where pi, the number we all know and love as 3.14159 and so on, is actually 4 as far as sine and cosine are concerned. That function which makes numbers positive? Yeah, it now makes numbers negative instead. Trying to get the square root? Nope, you get the square instead. And exponentiating anything to any power will instead get you the logarithm at that base. For those of you nerdy enough to understand what that means, Euler's number is also replaced with 3 in natural logarithms. Immediately, the world becomes dark. Lighting is almost completely inverted. Sounds are also messed up, and if I hadn't turned down the volume by now, your ears would be bleeding. Though, things start to get a lot less serious once we enter the first chamber. I warn you. <laughs> I'll mute the announcer, I'll mute the dialogue so that it doesn't bother us for the rest of the run. Other sounds will still bother us. Like, that'll still be loud. I, not much I can do about that. Can you just stay still for a moment? Okay, that, you know, that's as close as I'll get. Hmm. <laughs> oh, now it's open. Oh, that's great. Okay. All I have to do is load a save. I can't walk through this. Let me see the collision map for this. Oh! Oh, yeah, no, the collision for the door is just 45 degrees on both axes. <laughs> what is the hell made to do that? <laughs> oh, no, I'm stuck in the floor. <laughs> okay. This is just no clip. Oh, the elevator opens uh, in that axis. I can't enter it. Wait, can I enter it from behind? I can. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna leave. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly moving aside. Okay, perfect. Perfect. First map done. Uh, another side effect of this is obviously, you know, like, every collision has, like, a, a very high chance of just not working. Like, the glass right here uh, is just a phenomenal example of that. I do not need to take the cube through a portal. Oh, no, it wants to work this time. What if I turn it a little bit? No. Oh, no. Oh. And that's our first game crash. Th phenomenal. Okay. Second map. We made it quite far. Ah, yes, of course. That's a door if I've ever seen one. That's that's my that's actually modeled right after my front door. It's, it's exactly how that works. I do love the the tint on the glass. This could be this could be a mod on its own, really. The cube's just not here, I think. Or it just fell through the map. I don't think I have a cube. Um. Ah, the shards of the dropper. <laughs> are scattered all around the place. You get a little parkour course for yourself. I want to see if we can just straight up lip the cube through the door without a portal. It it took no effort. It was it, it did not resist at all. Doors are in my way again. Ah, ah, they open to the side. Ah, I'm see, I'm just not very used to these American doors being a European, you know. It, it's uh, it's culture shock if anything. Yeah. Okay, blue lights. I hate not being able to just put cubes. Ugh, don't you just, don't you just hate it when your cube just spontaneously goes through the button? Gosh, I really wish my cube stopped doing that all the time. Um, okay, there we go. That hit the button. I just needed to activate it for a split second. I'm not getting that cube, am I? We could probably still button stick. That's not even how a button is supposed to look. What? Where is that part? 
<laughs> Where's this component? You've probably already noticed that I can only look left and right. Unsurprisingly, messing with the math that controls angles breaks the player's camera, so I'm forced to play this almost as if it were 90s Doom. So like expecting him to fall through the floor? True, he probably should have. If I just let him roll, he probably will. Or he'll do that! <laughs> Bro <laughs> up and left. Okay, so far so good. You know, you could mistake this for like, you know, a normal game. Up until just now. Well, well, this won't rise up. I think it did. I think I didn't. Oh, she thinks she's holding me. Oh, she's th she thinks I'm on the incinerator. Maybe I can make this? I can't shoot that surface. That just doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Made it. Nice. The audio? Yeah, it does that. Kind of just gotten used to it by now. Okay, do we get a cube? No, how foolish of me of expecting otherwise. Have you noticed your portal gun is scuffed? Oh, oh really? My portal gun scuffed? Come to think of it, this might be a modded version of the game. It's really cheap. Ow. Wow. I am so sorry about that. That looks like a non-portable surface. They just know it's portable. Wow. It looks like... It sounds like it's next to me. Hey, let's gamble, Chad. Do we get a cube? No, we get a game crash. At some point, the crashes got so frequent that I decided to ditch the idea of trying to beat the game like this, and instead just focused on finding out how the different game mechanics had changed. Can bro do ceiling skip? Why is this not up? There's a wall here, usually. Ah, close enough. Wait, is the, is the faith plate still on? What? The roof is just down! I didn't have to do the skip! Okay, I'm gonna, like, try as carefully as I can to not crash this map. Ow! I forgot to mute the dialogue. Okay. I'm gonna be as gentle as I can with the cube. That's... I... Look, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> it's not really yielding much. Oh. Oh. Okay. I have one. Wait. This might actually be doable. The exit door is open. I think we just beat triple laser. Okay, do funnels work? Yes. Yes, they do. The dropper actually worked this time too. We might be able to solve this map. I wanna see if CFG works. Yeah, no issues with CFG. Oh, you poor thing, stuck in a non-Euclidean world. You did not ask to be born, did you? I wouldn't either if I was you. That might actually solve the map. Surprisingly, yeah. I mean, the door is not stable by any means, but it's good enough to pass through. Ow! Once I was done playing around with this mod, I loaded up a version of the game where the sine and cosine functions have been swapped. Again, to reiterate, these are the functions that control the shape, size, and rotation of virtually all dynamic objects. On its own, this change is so brutally unstable that the game crashes within 5 seconds or less of loading a map. To remedy this, I disabled the game's physics and threw together my own super simple physics engine. This one, this one messes with the visuals quite a lot more. <laughs> that is why the doors look like that. That is why the buttons look like that. Uh, one problem with the physics that I have though, is that uh, they, you know, the buttons, the, the cubes can't press down the buttons. They'll just, they'll just fall right through. Uh, I can. So you know what I'll do? I'll just assume that once I've gotten the chamber to a solved state, uh, I can legally no clip to the exit. Okay. We'll just we'll use we'll use trust here. Oh, that's a big portal gun. I get to hold that. <laughs> yeah, see the, the cool thing is it looks big from this angle, but then you go here <laughs> and it is a pancake. What those are my legs? I can't even tell anymore. <laughs> you can see Charles' face! Wait! <laughs> oh the chair's floating. That do not look directly at the operational end of the device, I've been told. <laughs> I'll leave the chair alone. Let's let's get to the exit. If there is one. Oh, that's a scrambled elevator. Doesn't look like the dropper is willing to cooperate. Uh, so I'll just uh, spawn a cube. Oh, that's a laser cube. 
Okay. You know, that's fine. These work too. I'll just... I'll just, just put that there. <laughs> that looks about solved. Yeah, I can shoot through the door, by the way. Well, it's closed. So theoretically, if I can get up there and like look down at the door, I could shoot through it, but I can't look down. Oh, beautiful. If only I could look down to shoot the port. What? I'm free. I'm free. We see third person, by the way. Alrighty. Third person looks something like this. <laughs> what the? Why? Is she, what? Why was she small? What is this? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, hell no, nah, Shell 340 Benadryl. <laughs> Where's the collision for this? Now it's this way. Okay. There's not a gap for me to fit through. You're holding him now? I mean, I mean, apparently I just, the portal gun's holding him. <laughs> the, the disembodied portal gun is, is in fact holding Wheatley. Yeah, I just, I, it's... Not sure if it's me. Whoa, GLaDOS got an upgrade. Okay. Whoa, Hoopy! Wait, that's Hoopy. What is that? What is that? <laughs> that is not a turret. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, wow, we got a cube. Gel works fine. Uh, my physics engine that I made in the 10 minutes does not support gel. Uh, so I'm very sorry about that if anyone expected it to. You can see the fizzler through the door. Can you just walk through the door maybe? No. Oh, it's skewed. Well, you could probably walk through the door. You just like get on the slope. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Wait. Yeah, I. you can shoot past it. Technically, we solved one chamber. Actually, we, we even speed ran one chamber. You know, that is a, that is a viable speed run route, by the way. Okay, obviously the panel won't flip. There are two cubes there. I mean, I think the bridges themselves work just fine. I think the bridges are not the problem here. What? What the? I guess the beam is still here. No, it's not. Okay, funnels don't work. Funnels just straight up do not work. Oh. Well, those are corrupted cores if I've ever seen any. Why the long face? <laughs> what if I enable physics? I have some weird suspicion that... I was about to say I have a weird suspicion that it won't crash. <laughs> and then it goes out and does that. This is probably a good time to mention that if you have an idea for a Portal 2 mod, my commissions are open. It doesn't have to be as chaotic as this. In fact, I know you have mod ideas because my comments section is usually full of them. But instead of drowning your ideas in the sea of comments, you can use the link in the description to directly support the things I do and get something fun in return. After this last run, I tried many more similar combinations of function overrides, but most were either super unstable or just not that interesting. The one you're seeing on screen right now is what happens when you negate the output value of the trig functions. It's kinda cool, but stuff bouncing around gets repetitive after a while. There's only so much you can do to mess with basic math before the poor game engine just gives up. Uh, how about Finale 4? How about the last map of the game? You know, the map that's, like, infamous for always crashing. Wonderful start! It's- it's red. It's blood red. I have so much confidence going into this. Okay, let's go- let's go up. I guess. Why is- why is everything just blood red here? I mean, it's- it's a- it's a great aesthetic. Let me turn off the collision stuff. It's a great aesthetic. Or, you know, the final boss fight, but... Gosh, I- I don't- I don't know, I expected something else. I am so surprised that the crashiest map in the game has not yet crashed. Okay! Okay! Truly appreciate that. Um... Okay, okay, I managed to hit him. I managed to do one phase of the boss fight. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. Hold on. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. What if I do this, and then I look down. And look down again. Not not that, actually. I needed to look down and then shoot, like, two portals. Okay. Perfect. I, I've lost sight of any- Okay. Loading save. That was a horrible idea. I should not have done that. It sounds normal.
Where's, uh, where's GLaDOS? Excuse me, where's... Oh, oh, now it crashed. Now it crashed. Okay, that's enough finale four for me.